Good morning, hello and welcome back to our channel yeah. on a lovely January morning. Sunday morning, hence the uh, lovely nightgowns. Hence We're nice the, and relaxed the dress today. and style, yeah. Yeah. Um, we wanted to follow on on our first video and give you some insights. We had our uh, five week scan. Uh huh. Where we found out what we're gonna have, and then we had twelve week scan. Then we had sixteen week scan. And uh, we had some issues over like midwives and all that. But we'll tell you about that in a minute. Mm -hmm. And we are having this week our twenty week scan. So, as we mentioned, we had. Uh, we got pregnant with IUI procedure, which mm -hmm. we spoke about on our previous video. Uh, thankfully to us, it was successful the second time. I just wanted to mention here what's important to try if you're going through this procedure. To me personally, it was I just changed my job. I was very relaxed and... I mean, stress levels gone down. Well, wait, we have to take into account not a lot of people would want to change their job. No, but just try not be but stressed. It's basically, yeah, Calm just down. getting rid of the stress. If you're in a stressful situation, for when you try, try and, and conceive, yeah, that, to be able to do it because at the beginning, as we said last time, like, or did we? We did it the first time and didn't catch. Yeah, but I was quite up the wall, to but be honest. Yeah, completely stressed and just wasn't settled in herself and just. Obviously, that can be a factor of why it yeah. didn't work. Obviously, there is other things that maybe might have not allowed us to get pregnant the first time, but obviously, it just on the surface, I'd say. Yeah, on the try surface, try and relax with the meditate. If you do yoga, do yoga. Yeah, just try and have your own time. And when Definitely. you go to these insemination appointments, go a lot earlier rather than worrying about traffic. Oh my god, I'll be Parking. late. You put in yourself in stressful situation, yeah. and everything could affect. Your just stay nice and yeah. relaxed. As much as it's a nerve-wracking situation overall, especially if you've never been pregnant before, like us. Yeah. But it's just having the, the Try. right mentality and just trying to stay calm and also having that partner next to you that can keep you calm. Don't get me wrong, I had my freak-out stages as well, <laughs> even though I'm not the one that's carrying. But it's always best to just balance each other out. And just, yeah. Try. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing is, when you're going through this procedure, when you finish your periods, you get prescribed these pills. Not all the time, but sometimes. If you like, yeah. they're to boost your egg produ producement. Hormones. Um, and if you like, you could take them. If you don't, you don't. But I said I want to take them. And we picked, f the doctor was offering us like, a more Two different expensive options. type and more cheaper type, but the cheaper type was like having a bit more um bad effects on you, etc. I was like, Oh, just give me the expensive ones. You're trying it once, yeah. you know what I mean? So I think the other second important thing is you have Wait, to take when we this say pill, expensive as well, it wasn't that pounds. expensive. Yeah. Thirty five pounds, yeah. You're not looking at like over a hundred pounds. No, no. Yeah. Um but when you're paying so much for procedure, we said thousand and one thousand five hundred per for mm -hmm. insemination pay the better price pay the more expensive just give yourself the best chance and exactly. make sure you take this pill so i think it's a pill a day yeah it was make sure you don't miss it and make sure you take them at the same time each day let's say morning let's say yeah. night always the same you notice it as well how much of an impact it can have on your body so obviously yeah okay stress takes into account but when you take these pills forget about the stress part but also the how many follicles it allowed you well, to produce. Well, that's what it is. That's so what I'm saying. Basically, it's important to the take first them. time, yeah, the first time she ended up having it, she only had like two follicles or something. Yeah, yeah. Which were ready to. Which were ready basically to be able to do it. If not less, I think it was like one near enough. Because they look at it by the size. Yeah. The only follicle that was ready when I was hitting my peak of ovulation yeah. was like 11 mil. And it was only one. I had more, but they weren't They won't hatch. They weren't ready then, they yeah. Won't, yeah. But then the second time, as I say, when we went in, she had a lot more. She had like four, five. Had she four was a bit like, oh, because she stayed on top of the pills the first the time she taken, didn't stay yeah. on top. So it was kind of just like that. And obviously they did say to us, like, there could be risks and stuff of this, but we were willing to take it because we'd already didn't catch the first time and wanted to catch the second time. So... The thing, the two important things, try and put your levels down of stress 
and take your pills mm. regularly at the same time each day. You only take them for like 10 days, that's it. And to me, the, I think this was the key now from experience. Um, So after that, I think after the insemination, I felt I was pregnant like mm. the week after. I... Well, I didn't feel I was pregnant because I didn't know what pregnancy is and how it feels. She but started I felt to changes. get a lot of symptoms. Yeah, a lot of symptoms. in my body, and I didn't know what's going on. Yeah. And everyone said, oh, that's just, you know, calm down, Adi. That's way too early for you to feel anything, whatever it is. But uh, we did the test, as you know, when, you well, know, we're to pregnant. To start with that, though, the, the symptoms that she was getting was, like, a lot of heartburn, which was mm. ridiculous. Like, all day you usually heartburn. tend to get that, like way after in months in advance mm-hmm. or something or weeks in advance say but she was getting it the week after she started to get a few muscle aches here yeah. there and everywhere the body was getting prepared yeah and she was also feeling a bit not necessarily like she wanted to vomit but you were feeling a bit sicky yeah as if like you wanted to but you never was going to it was a, a bit strange and when we were telling the family specifically like mom and nan and saying oh my God, is this normal? I'm getting these symptoms. And they're like, no, no, definitely not. You won't be pregnant. It's only a week. And Addy's like, no, I'm definitely pregnant and these symptoms are stronger, which brings us around to our next thing, which is... I had uh, this feeling all the way through before that first scan that everything's a bit too major. I think I'll make... Whether we make a video on my symptoms overall... But I had a sick sense of the fact that I would possibly have twins. I don't know, but mm. I had this feeling and I started Googling and going crazy about it. And all I could find was like, you know, the normal symptoms, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And a mother knows, mothers always feel it when blah, blah, blah. Well, I feel it, but obviously I don't have a proof. Yeah, that's and, um, Basically, it was finally time for our first scan. I couldn't wait because I started experiencing a lot of pain on the bottom of my belly because basically what it is is all your intestines are moving up mm. towards to the belly space. to make space for the, the womb. baby. Yeah. And it hurts a lot. It hurts like, you know, if you had too much exercise in a home or in the gym, belly muscles, and you pull them up badly and you have that every single day. So... It was quite drastic and I started feeling a bit sicky and I just like, I like alcohol, like I mean would have a drink or two and all that. I just didn't want to drink really. (laughs) I like alcohol. I wanted to go to bed. (laughs) Well, I mean, I'm not like (laughs) non-drinker. No. Um, Like a nice social drinker, but she wanted to and she couldn't. She was just like, I want to go to sleep. I didn't fancy it and I felt like I wanted to go to sleep early, Mm. like nine o'clock was like, oh. So there was a lot of like, too much of a symptoms yeah. and we walked to the five week scan and I walked in and I said to the two ladies that were scanning us I've got a feeling yeah uh you know it's My too much dropped. here <laughs> and uh they were like well okay lay down let's yeah. have a look and they looked and well she had the screen face and hair and she had like see. a junior with her as well so they were both looking at it and like having a nose and then in the end they were like right okay so are you ready to see so they turn the screen round and all of a sudden we just seen it, it looks like it's like a dark balloon. Put it that way yeah. in your belly, it's just like that. And then you see a tiny, tiny smidge in the middle of it. That's the baby. So we seen that and we were like, oh my God. And then she went, but I've got news for you. There's the other one. She goes, yeah, yeah oh. you were right. So, <laughs> so we ended up with twins. I just, I, I couldn't believe it. I start crying. I couldn't I say a screamed. word. Yeah. Um, I was, like, I was oh in my shock. Oh God. Um, do you know what all your worries and everything that you have because bearing in mind at the beginning when they told us you're gonna we can inseminate you but there is a possible risk so when they say possible risk there's a possible risk that she could have ended up having multiple multiple. that could have been like even twins could triplets triplets, quadruplets anything because she had a lot but you have to give your consent for them to proceed because it can be obviously dangerous on the the body of Addy and stuff or anyone for that matter or you could financially not be ready for twins so we were just like oh and I was like very a bit like standoffish I was a bit concerned but then I was like if it's meant to be it's meant to be and Addy was just like just go for it and at the end of the day as we said we did it the first time and didn't succeed so we just wanted to do it the second time and as god forbid we're allowed to you know what's meant to be again what's meant to be so in the end that just all kind of came into effect and then when we went in and actually got told there's twins 
there was no more worries anymore or anything. We were just absolutely ecstatic. We were over the moon and we still are. We're just like, we can't believe it. It just seems normal for us as if it was always meant to be. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we'd ever know what's the feeling of yeah. having one child. I don't think we were, meant, two. we were ever meant to have one. So yeah, we're definitely meant to. Probably meant to have two, always yeah. were meant to have two. And it's just, the feeling is amazing overall. Yeah. We just, again, you just wouldn't have it any other way for us. It's We've got everything that we need so far. We've been buying stuff and that for the little ones. But we're just like, uh, yeah, it was never meant to be one. I We'd just, be a bit uh, like, oh, okay. Like, I couldn't. Up, but yeah. we'd be like, now nah, they've got one another. Yeah. They'll go through everything together. They'll go through school and everything together. They'll never like be ahead of one another or anything. They'll support each yeah, other. They'll help both each have other. different personalities. Play with each other. Obviously, most likely. But from the early age, they'll always go to each other. And you'll never have to, again, for me to like say maybe later on down the line, like, oh, I want to get pregnant. Or if we had one, Addie was saying originally, like, she would have like gave birth again to another one. Or maybe me. You never know. But now... We feel like our life's just kind of complete. We don't need two. Two's plenty for us. We've don't got need us more two now, and then I don't think. Definitely don't want more. That the house, the finances wouldn't be yeah. able to handle that. Well, we we are planning to uh, uh, get a bigger house, uh, but probably in in like two years. Something like uh, that. But I just couldn't wait after they've let us know it's twins. I couldn't wait to go and just tell the family i've told you guys <laughs> i did tell you it's gonna be twins uh-huh. so it was amazing feeling everyone was like ecstatic yeah uh because it's two babies we still i still can't believe i'm carrying two babies today at twi- like, well tomorrow 20 weeks it's it's horrendous how it's unbelievable really i'm shocked i don't yeah. um and i would just want to say it it is really difficult and a lot it is a lot more enhanced than what a normal pregnancy with one child would be uh so if you haven't twins prepare yourself and if you think that yeah. the first months were really hard wait 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 for the fourth <laughs> month and wait for the fifth month month because it gets it's not the same Issues that we were having when you had three, when you were three, three, three months pregnant, it's different issues, but they're worse. Mm-hmm. I feel so heavy. I can, she said well, the other I day struggle. she feels as though Upstairs. she's on a roller coaster, the one in Alton Towers, oblivion, <laughs> where you're going up and up and up, and you can't get off because you can't press the emergency button because you're strapped in uh-huh. and you're on it until the You've end. You've got no choice. That's how she feels. You have she's to go scared, to the end. But she's like, I want to get off. Well, no one told me it's <laughs> going to be that difficult, yeah. but. As well as you're extremely happy and you, you can't wait to have them, but it is hard work. Yeah. Pregnancy is really hard work, so get ready. We want to show you as well the size of your yeah. belly. Just have a look at the belly. The whole like, family cause... like have been saying, oh my God, oh. that's how I looked when I was giving birth to one yeah, at nine so... months. Bing. So I don't know whether the people can see, but uh, it's it's already big. It's big and it's hard. Um, yeah, at night it gets even bigger when you have big dinner. Yeah. Uh, obviously go to the toilet like mad um, and as we say like she's she's only felt them move once so far yeah. so she, we're thinking maybe that's because she drinks 10 ton of water <laughs> well it's very important it's no to space. hydrate yourself especially if you're having twins it's three liters a day if not more i do drink probably more but that's how i feel i follow my um body if my body says I want orange, I have orange. If yeah. my body says I want water, I have water. So uh, I yeah. do try and I keep very healthy. And for some reason, the kids are making me want veg and fruit. So that's what I eat. Yeah. Uh, but we wanted to tell you that we've done a sneak peek, which yeah. is like a package comes in and you give blood and detects male they chromosomes. detect whether it's a male chromosome detected. Because obviously I'm a woman. So basically, we got it detected that there was a male chromosome in there, meaning we've definitely got a little boy. However, we don't know whether it's two little boys or a boy and a girl. So, yeah, so uh, let us know in the comments what you predict, guys. Yes. And stay tuned because we will let you know very soon on our next video. Mm-hmm. And um, I'll probably explain what was my symptoms were. Because I was so mesmerized about the fact that I could have twins and there was nothing out there to see well, what were their symptoms apart from well, one or two videos. Yeah, there's a few things out there, but not a lot. You it's find not. It's very, obviously, everyone will be different, but <clears throat> I will do that symptom video. Even when we went into the hospital and spoke to the nurses and 
everything like that. Everybody said the same thing. It's like there's barely enough info as much as it is out there because it is, it's very rare. So It is rare. That's tons. why we wanted to make these videos to be able to help people. And if anybody's got any questions, just drop it in the comment box below. And as always, please subscribe. Please stay with us. And it's free to and subscribe. And it's free. It's always free. So uh -huh. thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.